Hi, I'm David the Bruce, and this is Jungle Queens, and today we're taking a look at a very interesting serial. Now, the Jungle Queens, sometimes they were movies, but more times than not, they were serial. So, you know, you'd have to see them over a number of weeks. Every time you went to the theater, you'd see 20 minutes, and it ended with a cliffhanger. So you would have to come back the following week to see the rest. Pretty clever, huh? And Jungle Queen movies were all the rage at the time. And uh, it was, uh, you know, they happened because there was emerging sort of kind of out of the sexist, racist culture, this whole idea of independent women, that women aren't necessarily defined by being a, a wife and a mother at home doing house cleaning and oh, making meals and all that. that that there was uh, uh, something more than that in life for women. And so Jungle Queens were the um, uh, sort of addressing that and looking at it, but at a safe distance over in Africa. <laughs> but anyway, what you're going to see here, some critics have called the best, the very best of the Jungle Queen serials. This is it. And uh, I got to tell you that it is like over four hours long. If you take all the cereals and put them together, you come out with a, a over four hours of, of film. So what I've done is I've taken it and I've uh, put them together and then divided it into uh, three parts. And in each part, there's a number of, of episodes. So I, don't, I didn't want to do just the episodes because, boy, that would take for a long time, right? Uh, this was one of the longest-running serials. So, uh, and I didn't want to string them all together. Who's going to sit there for over four hours watching this thing? So I did it in three segments. So uh, you're going to see the same intro with me introing in each of the three. And you are in for a very fun ride. Pay attention to the side because over on the side I have put factoids about um, Kay Aldrich, the amazing actress uh, who does this, a little bit about her, some of the a photo gallery, also about uh, Jungle Queens, the comic book craze at the time. Oh, there's just so many things you need to know and I put that over on the side so that you can kind of follow along. I hope it's not too distracting. but. There it is. You're going to have, you're going to know more than you ever thought you needed to know by the time these three have run their course. Ah, oh, man, we've got a lot to do. Okay, so there you go. I'm David the Bruce. Enjoy. Grayson. I'll take those guns. Now over to the car. You know what to do in case the infidels come this way. They shall not pass. Now the temple's protected at every point. Come.
Look, it is the machine of the infidels. Light the fuse. Tales of Altura. She was very clever palming him off on the expedition. Come on. Voltura will wish to know which of the infidels have died. We must find out. worth more to me than a hundred of you worthless creatures. I agree. Tarini's death is most unfortunate. But all is not lost. Perhaps we can place another spy in their camp. Batan, I am sending you on a mission of danger. Vulture honors her faithful slave. You are to get into the camp of the expedition without being seen and find out... waking from a long sleep. All that you've told me about my life with the Toregs is news to me. Do you feel strong enough to tell us what happened as far as you remember, Mr. Gordon? Of course. Major Reynolds and I set out to search for the tablets of Hippocrates. When the Arabs attacked our expedition, I was cut off from the others. I wandered for days and finally came to a mysterious sort of tunnel. That would be the tunnel of bubbling death. Then I found the caves and they seemed deserted. On the wall of one of them was an inscription about the golden tablets. I was just reading the inscription when I heard the Toreg returning from a hunt. I started to run out through the rocks. I lost my footing and fell head first. That's all I remember. The Taregs must have taken care of you after that and made you their chief. Do you remember what the inscription said? Yes. That in the needle's eye was the tomb of the moon god. And in this tomb would be found the tablets of Hippocrates. The tablets? Needle's eye? Well, where is that? Of the moon god. I know the needle's eye. It's a narrow gorge about 10 miles from here. Then you can lead us there. Gentlemen, let's see how fast we can prepare to leave. Shot came from the back of the cave. Have a nice snow boy. No, I just had one. Oh, yeah. Huh?
being followed by the infidel doctor. Dismount and take cover. After Patan passes, open fire. Fallen. Come, let us finish it. the infidel go. I have important news for Ventura. Ah. They are ramming into a trap. Babu said he came from the rear of the cave. Ventura must have sent him here to spy on us. He probably heard every word uttered by Gordon. We haven't a minute to lose. Nyoka, where's your father? I thought he'd be safer with the Torax. Abu is taking him to the valley. That's good. So the tablets are in the tomb of the moon god. Yes, Highness. But no word was spoken of the treasure. The tablets will lead to the treasure. Take my men and ride at once. I will follow with the arrows from your camp. Remember, if the enemy gets there first, they must not come out alive. So it shall be. Hide the horses. We must search thoroughly. Stay here on guard while Nyoka and I search it. Very well. You stay here, Fang. Let them find the tablets for us. Conceal yourselves. And when the infidels reveal the hidden treasure, kill them. We'll make sure that no help comes to them from the outside.
do you suppose the tablets are hidden? Let's have a try at that idol first. Seems to be made of solid rock. rising out of the floor. Are you thinking the same thing I am? Yes. Makes me nervous. Let's stop it. Try the other arm.
sounds like trouble. I'll keep watch here. And these two broken pieces of an urn are all we found. Perhaps your father removed the tablets while suffering from amnesia. That's possible. Our best bet is to see what we can learn from him. Well, these babies are going to sleep for a while. I'll send Fang back to Abu with a note that we're going into the Tarag Caves. It's a good idea. Got a pencil, Red? Sure. You show signs of great concern. Oh, I was just looking for records of the objects that were moved from the tomb of the moon god. If you mean the sacred golden tablets that you entrusted to me, I seal them in a vault in the Cave of the Winds. Loba, you've preserved the greatest gift to mankind. But are you sure the cave is a safe place? No force on Earth can challenge the Torrid wind god. Come, I will show you. No stranger can approach the sacred vault of the Toregs and live. The vault is over there. It doesn't seem any too secure. Our security is not in the lock. But in the mighty winds that reside high in the mountains above us. I don't understand. When that slab is open, the captive winds are released. They sweep through this cave with the force of a tornado carrying everything in front of them into that hole in the floor and out through the face of the cliff. It's incredible. Come, I will show you. at the Torah Caves. Did they get the treasure? They brought something out of the tomb, but what it was, I could not see. We must catch them. The 
fates are kind. Yes. And with the help of the fates, we'll stop them. Try to hold him off. Two are barring our way, the rest are fleeing. An infidel's trick. Leave men to engage them. The rest of us will cut over the ridge after the others. You three men stay here. Why? She's only leaving enough men to delay us. I'm almost out of shells. I am out. We better get them out in the open where we can handle them. Long, so we'll have to stop Voltura at this tunnel. Wait here while I get help from the Torex. All right, Iota. By Joe, someone's coming. It's Voltura. She's got past Larry and Red.
save that. But those bombs will fix up the tunnels so they'll never get through. Hurry through to the other side. Stupid fools! You've let them seal the tunnel! It is fate. We could do nothing. The tablets are safe in the torrid caves. Great. Oh, fine. Can we get them? Easily. You men stay on guard here. Right, Doc. Where are you going with the white strangers? We plan to take the tablets back to civilization. Nothing placed in the sacred vault may leave the valley of the Torres. You don't understand, Loba. The secrets in the tablets of Hippocrates can abolish all the ills of mankind. They belong to civilization, not to any one tribe. As your chief, I command you not to interfere. Come, Niagara. Better stay here, Larry, and see that Lobert doesn't attempt to stop us. Right. The tablets are in this hall. Here, try this. The White Chief is leaving and taking the sacred plates he brought to us. As your new chief, I command you to stop him. Come. What do you want here? Season. Someone has opened the wind release. We've got to get out of here.
to stay here, Lowry, and see that Lovett doesn't attempt to stop us. Right. The tablets are in this vault. Here, try this. What do you want here? Season. Someone has opened the wind release. We've got to get out of here. Beyond any doubt, these are the long-lost tablets of Hippocrates. Can you translate it? Hey, let's have a look. Hey, what does it say? Hmm? Are they complete? Yes, they are. I'll translate them fully later. But the cure for cancer is inscribed here, as well as other priceless formulas. And they're well worth the struggle and dangers we've experienced. Look, Father. The inscription on the back of the tablet tells about the hidden treasure. It says that the treasure is in the shrine of the evil bird. The shrine of the evil bird? Where's that? All my extensive research into ancient archaeology, never have I noticed such a reference. Huh? us in. You better start thinking of a way to get out of here alive with those tablets. Isn't there any other way out except through that door? I don't seem to remember. Nyoka, that slab in the ceiling. You got out through it once. It opens onto the cliff outside. <coughs> Red, give a hand. Oh, it's no use. It'd take dynamite. 
Say, how do those savages open it? Lobo carries a key that fits in here and opens that slab. Yeah, but a lot of good that does is now. Gordon, when your mind was, uh, when you were chief of the Torex, certainly you must have known of a secret passage. Yes. Perhaps. I spent most of my time in that laboratory. Maybe there are maps or sketches among my papers. Yes. Suppose it leads. It goes only to the main corridor. We'd find every exit guarded by Torigs. Then we'll have to fight our way out. Oh, the odds are too heavy against us. Every dark passage will be swarming with Torigs. We've got one chance. If I can find Loba and get his key, we can use it to unlock the exit to the cliff. I'll go with you. I know just what the key looks like. Come on, Larry. Keep this door closed until we get back with the key.
are we going to get out of this valley? The tunnel of bubbling death is completely destroyed. Well, if it hadn't have been, Voltaire and her Arabs had been right on our necks. I think I can find a way out over these ridges. Let's try it. But keep a sharp lookout. Voltaire and her men are still searching for us. Quite right, old boy. They have the advantage of being mounted on speedy equines. Yeah, and they got horses, too. What? Horses. is carrying a metal casket. The tablets of Hippocrates. Follow me! Get cover! In those rooms!
I'm at Patan Hassan. Come with me. Larry, are you all right? Just went into the canyon. I'll get it. Tablets are of no use to her until she can get them translated. Who could translate them for her? She can probably find someone in Wadi Bartha. Good. That means we can catch up to her there. Red, get those Arab horses on top of the hill. Right, Doc. Red and I'll ride for Wadi Bartha. We'll stop by the camp and tell them to have horses ready for you when you arrive. Then you can follow us. around the village so no one can approach without being seen. Yes, sir, Eva. The golden tablets of Hippocrates. Yes. If our ancestors wrote the truth, this inscription should tell us the hiding place of the treasure. This is a strange language. I can't make anything out of it. All right. Are we to be stopped by a few paltry words? There's an Arab brass worker in Wadi Bartha who knows a translator. We'll take the tablets to him. Call your men, Cassip. I just took a look, but the coast is clear now. Let's 
get rid of these things. Hey, is it clear? It's clear. Beast is in my room. After him. What's that? They've spotted jitters. will welcome you, my friend. No, Captain. He may be of some use to us. Tie them both up. Ahmed, have men cover all entrances to the city. No doubt their friends will be after the golden tablets. the infidels. Gracious one. Yes? A stranger who says he comes from the brass worker awaits you. The man to read the tablets. Send him to the patio. Get the plates. Can you translate it? The 
writing is very old and hard to decipher. Do not be impatient. Listen. In the shrine of the evil birds, where sacrifice was made to the ancient gods, there repose great riches. Let him who possesses the tablets of Hippocrates use them wisely. Are you sure that's what it says? As Allah is my God, it is so written. Shrine of the Evil Birds. See what's happening. and the others have run into a hornet's nest. The white infidels are attacking us. The tablets mustn't fall in their hands. What of my pay? Here it is. means something's happened to Larry and Red. Why, well, he seems to want you to go with him. You're right, Dad, that's just what I'm going to do.
see what's happening. Shooting sounds as though my uncle and the others have run to a hornet's nest. The white infidels are attacking us. The tablets mustn't fall in their hands. What of my pay? Here it is. seems to want you to go with him. You're right, Dad. That's just what I'm going to do. Is that smoke? Doc, it is smoke. And that ain't all, either. your village. Defending! Well, Tor and her men have left for Castle Village with the golden tablets. I saw them riding away. There's only one thing to do. Follow an attack. You realize that Kassab's Arabs greatly outnumbered us? Well, if that stops us, we'll never get the tablets back. True, but reckless sacrifice of all our lives won't help eat them. Abu, there are still desert Bedouins who will fight Voltura. Yes, they hate her as much as they worship you. They will follow where you lead. You hear? Abu and I will gather these Bedouins and meet you outside Kassib's village. Come, Abu. Kassib, you and I will ride to my temple alone. Perhaps Maghreb can give us the key to the translation. Hadn't we better take some of my men? No. Isn't it better that the treasure be divided between the three of us and among many? You speak with the tongue of Solomon. Golden tablets of Hippocrates. A king's fortune for all of us. Yes, but the treasure isn't ours until we find the Shrine of the Evil Birds. The Shrine of the Evil Birds? You mean that is the hiding place of the treasure? So the translation reads, it said, in the Shrine of the Evil Birds, where sacrifice was made to the ancient gods, there repose great riches, and... Let him who possesses the tablets of Hippocrates Use them wisely. But where is the shrine of the evil birds? Right here, Vultura, in your own temple. Right here? It was its name in the days of antiquity, before your father conquered the desert. Where sacrifice was made to the ancient gods. Before you were born, your father removed a sacrificial altar that stood here. Could it mean that... What else could it mean? Get your men. Dig out that altar space. Yes, gracious one.
We'll go in from the rear. it now, Magrath. Vulture rules, gracious one. And death to her enemies. And death to her enemies. Gracious one, Casa's village is destroyed by Naoka's Bedouins, and the infidels are riding here to attack you. What of my men? I was the only one to escape. Order guards to be posted around the temple. Cassib, you and Baton bring horses to the rear entrance. Magrath and I will bring the treasure. Get inside. 
you are, Voltura. The treasure. So you found it. But you have no right to it. This treasure belongs to the finder. No. It belongs to humanity to aid in the cure. Professor Campbell's estimate of the treasure is correct. We'll be able to found the greatest chain of cancer clinics that anyone ever dreamed of. It's worth everything we went through. Oh, but I say that Lord's diamond is missing. Where on earth? My jitters has it. What? Here. Give me that. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Jitters, you'll never get rich swapping diamonds for bananas. <laughs>